Hello, buddy. This is Tony T here from TonySpicks.com with our NFL Pick Show here for Sunday, December 8th. We'll have picks from all 11 games. For more free pick videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And if you're looking for my best bets, my pre and plays, click the link in the description. That'll take you over to my page here at TonySpicks.com. So let's get this one underway. All right, we get underway here with Jaguars and Titans. NFL pick here for Sunday. Jacksonville lost quarterback Trevor Lawrence here on the, to the IR. Uh, the rest of the starters are healthy on defense. A corner is questionable. Tennessee right tackle questionable as well. Defensively, a nose tackle. Two linebackers, corner and nickel back questionable here. Jacksonville has a clear injury advantage based on the child range. Tennessee defense has the lowest health rating of all four units here at 78.2. Jacksonville drops a 2-10. A 23-20 home defeat to Houston. The Jaguars gained 373 yards, 97 rushing for 3.9 yards a carry. On defense, they surrendered 326 yards to the Texans with 218 passing yards on 34 attempts. Mac Jones, 20 of 32 passing for 235 yards and two touchdowns. He replaced an injured Trevor Lawrence. Tennessee fell 3-9, a 42-19 road defeat at Washington. The Titans put up 245 yards, 35 rushing for 11, on 11 carries. Defensively, they allowed 463 yards to the Commanders with 267 rushing yards for 5.9 yards a carry. Will Levis here, 18 of 37 passing, 212 yards and two touchdowns. You know, Mac Jones will leave well here for Lawrence to keep the Jaguars competitive in that loss. He did cover against the Texans. The Titans have failed to cover all five at home, losing four straight up. The Jaguars in their past five games are running the football effectively over five yards a carry. Titans defense over the past five games, allowing 31 points. So, oh, sorry, over the past three games, allowing 31 points, 68% completion rate, 6.9 yards per pass attempt. In this period, they rushed for 3.2 yards a carry with inaccurate passing. Pick here will be on Jacksonville here at plus the three and a half. All right, next up we've got for you Falcons and Vikings here for Sunday. A lot of fullback is out and on defensive corner is questionable. Minnesota right guard questionable on defensive corner out with nose tackle and linebacker questionable. Atlanta has a slight injury advantage based on Dr. Chow ratings. They have a health score of 91 with both units highly rated here. Atlanta fell to 6-6, six six, a 17-13 home defeat to the Chargers. The Falcons gained 350 yards, 116 rushing. For 3.1 yards a carry on defense, they held LA to 187 yards, 31 pass yards on 24 attempts. Kirk Cousins, 24 39 passing for 245 yards with four interceptions. Minnesota improved to 10 and 2, a 23 22 home win to Arizona. The Vikings put up 273 yards, 68 rushing for 4.5 yards a carry. Defensively, they allowed 406 yards to the Cardinals, 154 rushing yards for five yards a carry. Sam Darnold, 21 to 31 passing. For 235 yards with two touchdowns, the Falcons have been able to move the football on the road. 4.8 yards per rush, 67% completion, 7.6 yards per pass attempt. The Vikings in their past three games struggling on the ground, plus allowing 278 yards passing for 6.7 yards per pass attempt. The Falcons are 5-3 and three of the spread on the road, following a home loss. Minnesota 1-3 and three of the spread at home, facing teams that average 350 yards passing per game or greater. Pick here will be on at Atlanta here. Let's get the right one up here, guys. Atlanta here at plus the six. All right, next up we got Panthers and Eagles here for a Sunday. Carolina receiver Coker is doubtful with tight end Sanders in their right guard questionable. On defense, a linebacker out with two linebackers questionable. Philadelphia starters on offense healthy. Defensively, a safety is out. Philadelphia has a clear injury advantage based on the Dr. Chow ratings. Both offenses have high, high, high health ratings. Carolina defense, a low health rating, 77.4. Carolina fell 3-9, a 26-23 home overtime defeat to Tampa Bay. The Panthers gained 367 yards, 78 rushing for 3.7 yards a carry. On defense, they allowed 
145 yards to the Buccaneers with 236 rushing for 6.1 yards to carry. Bryce Young here, 26 of 46 passing for 298 yards with a touchdown. Philadelphia now 10 and 2, a 24-19 row win at Baltimore. The Eagles posted 252 yards, 140 rushing for 4.2 yards to carry on defense. They allowed 372 yards to the Ravens, 166 rushing yards for 5.3 yards to carry. Jalen Hurts, 11 of 19 passing, 118 yards and a touchdown. The Eagles at home averaged 4.8 yards per rush, 70% completion rate, 8 yards per pass attempt. They allow 20 points per game at home with 4.1 yards per rush. Carolina on the road is allowing 32 points per game with, 70, with 71% completion rate, 7.5 yards per pass attempt. The Panthers have shown improvement offensively the past three games. I put up 23 points a game and 4.7 yards per rush. The pick here will be on Carolina and Philadelphia over 45. All right, next up, we got Jets and the Dolphins for you here on Sunday. All right, here we go. Running back for the, the Jets. Hall is out with their left tackle, right tackle, and right guard. Questionable on defensive corner is doubtful. Miami left tackle is questionable on defensive linebacker and nickelback are questionable. Miami has a slight injury advantage based on the child ratings. <clears throat> the Jets' offense has the lowest health rating at 77.7. The Dolphins' offense, the highest at 87.4. New York fell at 3-9. A 26-21 home defeat to the Seattle. The Jets gained 258 yards, 89 rushing for 4.2 yards to carry. On defense, they allowed 259 yards to the Seahawks with 84 rushing for 3.7 yards to carry. Aaron Rodgers, 21-30 passing for 185 yards with two touchdowns and a pick. Miami drops to 5-7. A 30-17 road defeat to Green Bay. The Dolphins put up 375 yards, 39 rushing for 2.8 yards to carry. Defensively, they surrender 308 yards to the Packers. Two or say for passing yards on 28 attempts. Two up, 27 of 46 passing for 265 yards and two touchdowns. New York defensive form poor as in their past three games, allowing 28 points, 73% completion rate, 7.9 yards per pass attempt. Their offense in this span averaging 4.5 yards per pass attempt. New York had one and five of the spread on the road as they got it outscored by 10 points a game. The pick here will be on Miami here at minus the six. Next up, we got the Browns and Steelers here for a Sunday. The receiver uh, for Cleveland Tillman out in a def and defensive safety questionable. Pittsburgh receiver Pickens questionable. Their defensive starter is healthy. Pittsburgh has a clear injury advantage based on the child ratings. Uh, Cleveland now 3-9, a 41-32 road defeat to Denver. The Browns gained 452 yards, 77 rushing for 3.3 yards of carry. On defense, they allowed 400 yards to the Broncos, 294 passing on 35 attempts. Jameis Winston. 24 of 58 for 497 yards with four touchdowns, three picks. Pittsburgh 9 and 3, a 44 38 road win in Cincinnati. The Steelers produced 520 yards, 110 rushing for 4.2 yards to carry. Defensively, they allowed 395 yards to the Bengals with 282 passing yards on 38 attempts. Russell Wilson 29 of 38 passing for 414 yards with three touchdowns and a pick. The Steelers have traded over with the quarterback chain to Wilson. They are 6 and 1 the over in their past seven games at Browns have trended to the over with the change of Winston. Cleveland 4-1 to the over in their past five games. In their past three games, the Steelers averaging 27 points per game with 71% completion rate for seven yards per pass attempt. Their, def their defense in this period allowing 26 points per game, 7.2 yards per pass attempt. The Browns defense over this span allowing 32 points per game, five yards per, per rush, 267 yards passing, 8.6 yards per pass attempt. You know, their passing game over this period Put up 357 yards a game, 8.1 yards per pass step. The pick here will be on Cleveland and Pittsburgh to go over the total here of 43 and a half.
right, next up we've got for you Raiders and the Buccaneers here. Uh, Vegas running back Madison and receiver Myers are questionable. On defense, a nickel back out. Tampa Bay running back Irving is questionable. On defense, two linebackers and safety out with a nickel back questionable. There is no clear injury advantage uh, based on the child ratings in this game. Both defenses have the lowest health ratings with Tampa Bay at 80, Vegas at 78.6. Las Vegas fell to 2-10, a 1917 road defeat to Kansas City. The Raiders gained 434 yards, 116 rushing for 4.6 yards a carry. On defense, they allowed 329 yards to the Chiefs with 266 passing yards on 46 attempts. Aiden O'Connell, 23 of 35 passing for 340 yards with two touchdowns. Tampa Bay now 6-6, six six, a 26-23 road win in Carolina in overtime. The Bucks put up 445 yards, 236 rushes for 6.1 yards to carry. Defensively, they allowed 367 yards to the Panthers with 289, 289 passing yards on 46 attempts. Baker Mayfield, 21 of 33 passing for 235 yards with a touchdown and two picks. Healthy offenses battling banked up defenses here. Perfect weather at 73 degrees and little wind. The Raiders defense facing the NFC opponents this season, giving up 28 points per game, 7.5 yards per pass attempt. The Bucks defense facing the AFC foes this year, allowing 32 points per game, 5.4 yards per rush, 75% completion rate, 7.3 yards per pass attempt. You know, out-of-conference foes usually score off once every four years, so each defense not familiar with opposing offensive playmakers. The Bucks have gone over in four of six at home. The pick here will be on Las Vegas and Tampa Bay to go over the total. Next up, we got Saints and Giants here for you. All right, uh, New Orleans starters on offense, defense are healthy. New York receiver neighbors and their right tackle are questionable with their left tackle doubtful. On defense, an end, linebacker and corner are out. A nose tackle corner and nickel back questionable. New Orleans has a clear injury advantage based on the Dr. Chow ratings. The Saints defense has the highest health rating at 88 with the Giants health rating on defense alone with a 75.3. New Orleans fell to 4-8, and eight, a 21-14 to 14 home defeat to the Rams. The Saints gained 327 yards, 143 rushing for 4.6 yards a carry. Defensively, they allowed 322 yards to the, to the, to the Rams with 156 rushing for 5.4 yards a carry. Derek Carr here, 24-37 passing for 184 yards with a touchdown. New York 2-10 after their 27-10 road defeat in Dallas. The Giants posted 247 yards, 116 rushing for 5.5 yards a carry. Defensively, they allowed 317 yards to the Cowboys with 122 rushing for 3.8 yards a carry. Drew Locke here, 21-32 passing for 178 yards with an interception in the game. You know, the weather forecast, 50 degrees, about 14-mile-per-hour wind. The Giants' offense at home is averages 10 points a game, 3.7 yards per rush, 4.8 yards per pass step. Saints' offense on the road putting up 22 points a game, 4.6 yards a carry, 7 yards per pass step. This should be enough against this Giants' offense, even with the change to, to, to Drew Locke. Also, New York defense is really banged up here. The pick here will be on New Orleans at minus the five. All right, Seahawks and Cardinals here. Scoring off Sunday afternoon. All right, we got Seattle running back Kenneth Walker out and on defense, a corner is doubtful. Arizona starters on offense are healthy. On defense, a tackle and safety questionable. No significant injury advantage based on the child ratings. All four years, pretty much how you rate health ratings here. Seattle proved a 7-5, and five, a 26-21 row win at the Jets. The Seahawks gained 259 yards, 84 rushing for 4.2 yards a carry. On defense, they allowed 258 yards in the game with 89 rushing for 4.2 yards a carry. Geno Smith, 20-31 passing for 206 yards with a touchdown. Arizona now 6-6, six six, a 23-22 road defeat at Minnesota. Uh, in this game, the Cardinals posted 406 yards, 154 rushing for 5 yards to carry. Defensively, they allowed 273 yards to the Vikings with 68 rushing for 4.5 yards to carry. Kyler Murray, 31-45 for 260 yards with a touchdown and two picks. Seattle defense has been in great form as in their past three games, allowing 15 points per game. 4.3 yards per rush, 5.4 yards per pass attempt. They are completing 71% of their passes in this period. 
The Cardinals' defense in the span outstanding as well. The Seahawks have covered three straight. They have they held Arizona six points in their first meeting uh, in, in, in between these two teams. Pick here will be on Seattle plus three. Got Bears and 49ers here Sunday afternoon. Chicago center is out with running back Swift and receiver Moore questionable on defense and safety out. San Francisco left tackle and left guard out on defense and end is out with linebacker and safety questionable. Running back McCaffrey out here. Uh, Chicago has a massive injury advantage based on the channel ratings. Massive advantages on both sides of the field for Chicago. 49ers health rating of 65.9 on offense, 75.4 on defense. The Bears health rating 88 on offense and defense. Uh, Chicago 4 and 8 with their 23 to 20 row defeated Detroit. The Bears gained 312 yards, 78 rushing for 5.2 yards a carry on defense. They allowed 405 yards to Lions, 194 rushing for 5.9 yards a carry. Caleb Williams here 20 of 39 passing for 256 yards, three touchdowns. San Francisco now 5 and 7, 835 to 10 a row defeated Buffalo. You know the 49ers posted that game 239 yards, 153 rushing for 5.7 yards a carry. Defensively they allowed. 372 yards to the Bills, 220 rushing for 5.8 yards per rush. Brock pretty hit on 11 of 18, 11 of 18 passing, 94 yards. Remember that was in a pretty much a snowstorm there, but the, that injury advantage for for Bears just too huge here. Uh, Chicago offense in their past three games averaging 4.7 yards a carry. They have defended the pass well on the road. San Francisco in this period allowing 31 points per game, 71 percent completion rate, 6.9 yards per pass attempt. They are averaging 12 points and 5.7 yards. Per pass attempt in this period, the 49ers have missed the cover in four straight. Pick here will be on Chicago here at plus three. All right, next up we've got for you here Bills and the Rams. Buffalo receiver Coleman and Tiny Kincaid questionable. The defensive starters are healthy. LA left tackle questionable and on defense a linebacker questionable. Chicago has a slight injury advantage based on the child ratings. Buffalo has a health rating of 92 on offense and defense. LA has been about the healthiest they've been this season. A team rating of 88.5. Buffalo moves a 10 and 2 with a 35 to 10 home win to San Francisco. The Bills gained 372 yards with 220 rushing for 5.8 yards per rush. On defense they allowed 239 yards to the 49ers with 88 passing yards on 18 attempts. That will again in heavy snow. Josh Allen, 13 to 37 passing for 148 yards with two touchdowns. LA six and six, a 21-14 row win at New Orleans. The Rams gained 322 yards, 158 rushing for 5.4 yards a carry. Defensively, they allowed 327 yards to the Saints with 143 rushing yards for 4.6 yards a carry. Sam, uh, Matt Stafford here, uh, 14 to 24 passing for 183 yards and two touchdowns. You know, the Bills offense against the AFC averaging 33 points per game with 4.9 yards per rush, 75% completion rate, 8.7 yards per pass attempt. LA defense in their past three games allowing 5.5 yards per run, 70% completion rate. The Bills over the span put up 32 points per game, 4.6 yards per run, 7.3 yards per pass attempt. That form too good here. Pick here will be on Buffalo here, minus three and a half. All right, next up, we got Chargers and Chiefs here for Sunday night. ALA receiver McConkey questionable, and on defense, the linebacker is out. Casey healthy on offense and defense. Casey has an injury advantage based on the child ratings. They have at or near 90 health ratings on offense and defense. LA has key defenders on IR, and some are out for the year. Uh, LA 8 and 4 after a 17 13 uh, road win at Atlanta. The Chargers gained 187 yards, 56 rushing for 3.3 yards to carry. On defense, they allowed 340 yards to the Falcons with 116 rushing for 3.1 yards to carry. Justin Herbert here, 16 of 23 passing for 147 yards. KC 11 and 1, a 19 17 home win to Las Vegas. The Chiefs put up 329 yards, 63 rushing for 3.9 yards to carry. Defensively, they allowed 424 yards to the Raiders, 
318 passing on 35 attempts. Patrick Mahomes here, 26 of 46 passing for 306 yards and a touchdown. LA in their road games held teams to 13 points per game, 5.4 yards per pass attempt. KC holding divisional foes to 15 points per game. LA 5 and 1 of the under on the road. KC 14 and 4 of the under at home. That's against the AFC. The pick here will be on LA and KC under 43. For more free pick videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And if you're looking for my best bets, my premium plays, click that link in the description. That will take you to my page here at Tony'sPicks.com. And if you like this video, give us a like and thumbs up. You really help our channel quite a bit doing that. This is Tony T. We'll talk with you guys later.